Hello, welcome to Jungle Beats. My name is Alexander Mann. I am a Pokemon master. My favorite Pokemon is Gyarados, evolved from Magikarp at level 20. He should be a dragon water type, but he's water flying. I don't fucking know why, because did you ever see him fly? That motherfucker never fly, he's a fucking dragon. And his Mega's a fucking dark type. Oh, what's your name? <sighs> Injury Reserve are one of the most prolific underground hip hop groups. Like I'm swinging in the octagon. If you think you're eating, then it's your plan. I'm plotting on. Like, you gon' eat your cone bread. Life can really fuck with your. That have come out of the last couple of years. Uh, we used to actually play them on our radio show uh, about one and a half to two years ago. There's a couple singles that I found on SoundCloud. I'm like, oh, this is really dope. Got this, this real cool feel to it. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it to me. Richie on the MIC. I rip mics, well, sort of, kind of, yeah, not really. Staying on these tracks, these niggas just pop willies. If Kanye did it, these niggas would rock hill. Played it on. It was dope. And then they released uh, Live at the Dentist Office. Trying to find what's and they released Floss. Oh shit! Oh. So, I went to the Anthony for Tanner Rose. That's right, it was his top uh, tracks of the year. And he put Everybody Knows at number two or three, I think. And because of that track, which I really loved, I loved the video as well, he put me onto that album, which put me onto Floss. And you just happened to be digging them at the time as well. So it just, it just worked out that way. And they released a single called North Pole. <laughs> I have heard this, um, but. To give thanks to Injury Reserve and put help put them on the map even more. I still wanted to review it because this is I'm not even gonna say, but um in preparation for their next body of work. Okay. Which is so called. I, he's heard this. I had heard this. So. Drive it like it's stolen. September 29th. New album. Yes. New Already. Body of work. I like to see him busy. I believe it's an EP. Two weeks about from here. I think it's smart too because of um, groups like Brockhampton now, which I do think have quite similarities mm -hmm. to Injury Reserve. I mm -hmm. think it's smart them riding the waves as well. 100%. Cause yeah, they're right. Injury Reserve North Pole, we're gonna get the music video right now with it. Featuring Austin Feinstein, who I believe has worked with Tyler the Creator. Let's go. Already some nice visuals. It looks like I'm not getting a banger, am I? <laughs> uh, this is false. I was like, is this gonna be an oh shit part three? No, this is, this is, this is. This is quite nice. I'm not the type to draw and lose some shit, yes. Let the take and say to kill when I see P, yes. I love that Jenny line talking about C B, yes. I've been doing the same since so I can see B, yes. This is the feature? Man, I wish the pills they make you fuck it. Uh, was going through my phone and I still got you in my contacts. I wish that I could call and you could call back. And, and you were watching over me when I wrote this. Yeah. Shit, that was a good verse. Totally random. I just remembered a dream I had. I had a dream that I went to like a concert with Tyler. I saw him out and he asked me on a date. Oh yeah? And I said yeah, and me and Tyler went on a date, but I can't remember much else. Fuck yeah. Um, injury Reserve. North Pole. Um, I'm, I'm not very good at paying attention. The only thing I paid attention to the most was the, the verse with Richie with the teeth, the second verse. Which I thought was really cool how he was uh, calling up, was he calling up his dad? To me, when I first listened, I thought it was, but upon further listening, I think it sounds like someone like his best friend. Mm, and yeah. But then he references his father as well. That's, so uh, yeah, yes. And so it's just an overall conversation about it. I, I really like the way he did his verse. Very, very hard as well. And also like the route like Kendrick's OD. And then like he just leaves the line out because it's obvious what he's going to say. I love so when artists do that. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I ain't going to say it. You already fucking know what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. um, and Stepper's verse start off was really good. So definitely um, a track that I haven't really heard. It, it, the closest I've done a track like this is the track they did with Vic Mensa, actually. So. You think so? As in, in terms of like. The somberness, the, the, the yeah, the somberness and the ability to tell the way they rap is quite an easy way to understand what they're saying. And the beat, the beat isn't too crazy. Like it's quite simple. I think simple, simple little bits of guitar, simple drums. Like there's not huge amounts to it, which makes you like pay more attention and just get 
Um, I wasn't huge on the hook. Real quick though, I want to just point, make the point on what you just said. The production is simple enough and eased off enough that you can very clearly hear and absorb what they're saying. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think that's definitely, definitely works the favor and works for people that do have hard time focusing like myself. I'm, I'm terrible at focusing on things. So I found that the production really got me to be more involved with the track. For um, something so serious and, 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 and like, for a topic so serious, that's, mm. that's what you want to do, right? Is, uh, is that what North Pole's meant to mean? Like the fact they're talking about such deep things that leaves them feeling quite cold inside, like cold as the North Pole? That's, okay, that's a connection I was trying to make. I think something like that, because you notice- that's, that's what I get from They're it. in California, it's warm, it's sunny, yet they're all wearing winter clothes. Yeah, so it's like no matter how hot it is, they're feeling cold from th these things that they're talking about, things that are leaving them feeling quite numb. And, it's, mm. and North Pole's an expression of saying, it's the coldest place you can possibly get in the world. Ooh. So I think that's kind of what I'm getting from it vibes. And I love how the video connects to that with like having a beautiful day, but no matter how beautiful it is, people like, you could look at someone and be like, oh, that guy, like but deep down, they're like, they're wearing the big jackets. It's snowing on them, even though everything around them is shining. Yeah, so it might be something like, I mean, it's not a particularly complex theme, but like, I mm. um, obviously didn't make the connection yet. And yeah. I think something like that, man. Yeah, so I dug the verses. The guy on the hook, I thought he suited the production well, and also the very, very low, very sort of non non melon like melodies melodious non melodious voice. I don't know. He just he it was a very King Cruel sort of hook. If you, do you know King Cruel? No. Oh, very sort of like just the way that he sings and talks is like just very very low. Like there's still emotion to it, but it's just so so down and just like melancholy. Yeah. Without emotion. I mean, that suits the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I just the hook wasn't. Your it just left it? me feeling like really. Hazy, yeah. Or like real, like. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. Yeah. I just, I just felt like I wanted, wanted a bit more. But I guess that's a different direction of the track. And I have an inclination. Obviously, the only inclination is is based off the No Jumper interview and this that they're trying to go in a different direction. Which I fucking love. I love when artists go in a different direction every album. That's kind of like, and even if I don't like the albums, like I, I think we've done a few reviews. Like, um, what's a good example? Vince Staples, Big Fish Theory. Totally different direction. I did not like the album, but I love him for doing what he does. And I hope that his next album, he continues to do something different again. And on the grandiose scale, Kanye West has reinvented himself each and every time. Each and every time. And I know they're big fans of Kanye and they take inspiration from him. And I, maybe that's something to do with it. It's also back to Brockhampton. I'm kind of glad that like they're doing the whole saturation thing because instead of like doing different albums over a few years, like. We're loving this sound right now. There's right. so many of us. How about we just keep this sound going, right. but pump it out quickly so it's not like different times apart. Although Floss released this year, did it not? Floss was last year, wasn't it? It was last year, excuse me. It was very late last yeah, year. Yeah, it was. It was, like it, went, it was in our top albums of the year. Yeah. Mm. So once a year, that's, that's, that's really high production, if they can get that. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I, I do like this track. I, I think my, my definitely highlights of it are the verses. Yeah. The verses are definitely what are the main factors for me for this song. But and visuals, visual dope, message dope. I dig it. Yeah, and they both had something vulnerable it seemed like their messages were almost intertwining like they could be talking about the same similar person that would be a cool connection like they're both best friends of this person maybe imagine if he was calling Stefan like from the future or something I mean I didn't think about it like that but maybe he's calling himself to like to hear himself in the future remember do you, do you, like do you know how like some kids when they're younger like a lot of schools did this I don't know if they still do it now but like they create videos they, like, they, they do videos of themselves telling them what they want to do when they're older, who they want to be when they're older, or just give themselves encouragement. Right. And then 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the line, you, 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 you give this video to someone, they send it to you 40 years later, and you get it in the mail, and you, you watch it, completely forgetting that you've done it, and it's, it's yourself 10, 20, 30 years ago telling yourself what you want to be and all this inspiration and stuff. Mm. So it could be, I, I don't know. All right, man. Well, I can't in, in Reserve, North Pole, man, we will continue to support them in any and all ways possible, man. Change Gyarados to Water Dragon. Yeah. Water flying is a shit type, and mm -hmm. it's also, it's just it, just, it just, it just doesn't fly. He doesn't. He's a dragon. That's all I gotta say. But fuck yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Injury Reserve. I love what you're doing. Still listen to Floss quite regularly, so I'm, I'm, I'm digging. I'm digging it. Thank you. From the bottom, nigga, how about you? You know I only live once, nigga, how about you? You know I stay smoking blunts, nigga, how about you?